Hello, guys. <laughs> no, it's not Jenny Rivera. It's no soy Jenny Rivera. No soy Jenny. Guys, this is my new wig. Look. I got it since last week, but I hadn't worn it. And I hadn't moved on because I've been feeling all... I need ice. Oh, Lord have mercy. Go ahead and get some, honey. Ice yourself up, baby. And I usually have bags of tostadas in the cubby. And, well, I call it the cubby and the, you know, cupboards. Y no tenía la madre. Because yesterday I made this bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb ass bomb. Or does it look better like this? Ahí está el Jesse atrás, mira. En calzones. Es que está bien hot aquí, esta casa. Like, we can call maintenance and tell them that maybe something's wrong with our ACs. They'll take two to three weeks to come, and they'll leave it the same, and they'll say, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Thank God it ain't that hot out, you know? Not that hot out. So we went out this morning... Because I wanted to go, I'll tell you the truth, I wanted to go get the free lunches. Because on Fridays, I remember la the years before, they would give you for the whole weekend, right? I had my friend from this one school. And he would give us four, you yeah, know. Porque era buena gente. He would see me and, and my girls. And nos daba otras para nosotros también para que comiéramos. Ah, y bien lindo él. Él es el viejito que, I told you guys, he one time he gave us a hundred and something. And he put a little note and said, uh, to my beauties. And then he said, take your kids to the movies, buy them some popcorn, get them this, get them that. And I was like, oh. Then another time that I didn't go, and he was asking me, you know, why didn't we go all week? And I said, you know what? My car broke down and it was, no tiene ni pinche feria. Pero I swore to God I didn't tell him in a way like, help me, give me money, or feel sorry for me. No, I'm just you know, my normal talk, you know? And this dude, out of his heart, gave us twice, over $100. So today we're eating a torta. I got them on clearance. There was four breads, like torta breads, and they were like 60 cents each, and I said, get it, girl. Anyways, it's turkey slices, one, and then a cheese slice, Velveeta, and then uh, this guacamole dip that is so fucking bomb, but it's in the fridge. And it's like three bucks, but oh my god, is it worth it? Está bien picoso, bien sabroso. Let me get some. Cool. We was all over the schools trying to find it. In the Google, it said that this school, that school, and this school was going to give out free lunches, right? For the kids. And, oh, and then I made this tuna salad. Yesterday I ate a lot of it because it was so yummy. Look. So it's a, it was a bowl about this big, you know? Like for when you go to a restaurant, you order a big menudo. That big, okay? Two cans of tuna. Just if I didn't put no powder, no salt, no nothing. Just two cans of tuna. Big blob of mayo. I ate a little squirt of mustard because you don't want it to taste so so mustardy. Guys, I'm drinking a mug of beer. Ah, just, yes, kidding, yes, kidding. It's actually this. a and W root beer cream, but this is not diet. This is from Sam's Stash. I want to tell you the truth. This is my third can. I'll start in there. Because it's so yummy. I love cream soda. Oof, especially red cream. Guys, when I was young, I remember I would go to, when I had money, I was like 11, 12, maybe. I'll see, I'm going to see little brother. Hmm. Sometimes I went to answer uncle's house on the weekend. They knew that. Because we were little, 
we wouldn't get like um let's say a big bag of chips for ourselves. We always had to share. So my two aunts they felt bad for me and my little brother. And they would give us sometimes like four or five dollars each for me and him and tell them don't tell nobody to hide away with it. You better believe when we got home or the next day, we would walk up to the I don't know the snail that fell off like three times already and I don't know where it is. I think it's in here, I don't know. Yeah, we would walk up to the seven eleven and get nachos each. And a big coke, but a big red. It had to be big red. It tasted pretty much the same as this one. I finally got my microphone. It's up here. Look. I <laughs> just yeah, kidding, just kidding. No, I don't tengo ni para quedarme muerta. No, there's this friend of mine that owes me some money, and hopefully. He had owed me some money and he gave me some, was it yesterday or the day before? The day before, when he said Friday when we got paid, he gave me the rest. He actually, he actually been owing me for a while. But I know he has kids. And uh, he didn't want his wife to work anymore. They can manage, you know, but one time when I had my income tax, I, I did help them. And I did tell them to take their time. And I'd never been rushing them or nothing, but, you know, they knew that they owe me. And I said, Look, pelito aquí. Es que esta está bien blondie. Está bien hermosa. I like it. I like it, stupid. I like it, stupid. You know. It's supposed to go like this, but I don't know. I think my face looks rounder, can I? I feel like I don't look right with my part in the middle. Or like my face looks too long. Like, you know, why the long face? Ah, Carmela, Carmela. And yet, esto se me hace que se ve bien sexy. Porque los pelos se meten así en tu ojo, así como que te quieren tapar el ojo muy sexy. Man. And I should have worn one of my, but you know what? I'm not wearing a bra, I'm sorry. It's because we're chancludos. And it's because we got up late. And I was like nine something. I was like, guys, come on, we got to go get the lunches. The, the schools only give out their lunches for from for like two hours. Jingo. Déjame ver qué tengo. Espérame, espérame. This makeup, I love this makeup. It looks so nice up close. Ma, pues yo siento pichi pelo y bien funny. Okay, I'm your pet. It's, oh, this is too goldy for me. See, it's beautiful, but right here that I'm looking in the mirror and the light's hitting me, I love it. But when I look right here at you guys, it looks ugly. It looks like, hey, pinche huera, huevo. You know what huera, huevo is? Huera, huevo. When you're so dark skinned. Oh, but you want to be a blonde, so you go and blonde, blonde yourself up. I like it. I like it, stupid. Look. Oh, I see my mask blondie. So I called this one blondie. Not because of blondie. Porque blondie era, tenía su pelo como cuadradito, así, whatever. Pero por blondie. I have, I have a few wigs that I've named already. I told you, right? And I have the, uh, about four or five little mannequins, the little heads. And so the, the prettier ones, the better ones. I put them on the head, on the head thing, on the foam head. So I have one that's called Carrie. I told you guys, I'm a crazy Carrie, crazy Carrie from the movie Carrie. Cause estas cabronas una vez estábamos así todas aguitadonas y todas. Y le dije, dije, pa, y voy a hacer algo con mis babies. Guys, le dije, let's have a competition, let's do a contest. Let's see who can put the, most, the nicest makeup on the little dolls. So 
Sam and Julia did and Jesse did. And then I didn't want to. And then I didn't feel like it. I just did it more for them so they can. And I left one and I don't know if it was Ali or this your puppies that got got a hold of it and then they bit his nose, her nose off. <laughs> Sorry, look at her. <laughs> the funny guys. I should have brought a second show you. So I don't want to put makeup on her, por decida. Pero, ¿te acuerdas? Y entonces la Samantha lo hizo bien bonito. ¿Quién lo hizo más chingón tú o, o, o la Julia, mija? ¿Quién lo hizo más chingón el makeup de la face? Tú o la Julia? Oh, from the face, I didn't know it. It was just her and Jesse. Don't touch that frame, honey. Be careful. Oh, she says it was just her and Jesse. Oh, then, then Julia must have done like two heads. Okay, let me tell you about this. And I didn't do it, and I should have. And I always say, because I sit on the potty, and straight ahead, I have the the little table. And then I put right here. I don't know if you remember, back here. I used to have the Jenna Rivera poster, but sometimes I switch and put the mirror on the little table. You know, me cansa, you know? So, allá, ahora está allá el Jenny Rivera poster, and then my friend helped me put some rope like this, and I haven't done it. I got the rope because I wanted to put all my wigs like that, para que no se echen a perder. Y no las he hecho. Gracias. Bueno, entonces, este... Sorry, excuse me. So, this, let me tell you real quick. Two cans of tuna, mayo, a little baby squirt of mustard, two sliced dill pickles, and I cut them up as small as, not, not too, too small, but small. Mm. Oh, a bunch of like this of baby carrots, and I cut them up like a little bitch. And then I, the magic thing was that I put some of that guacamole dip, and it's spicy, but I didn't put too much, just to give flavor. Salió pero bien chingona la neta. And right now I was gonna eat the torta and then with tostaditas for you guys and uh, and some more tostadas. And usually there's tostadas here because I love the to 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 tostadas. I'm into them right now. Look. Oh. The juice from the salad is slipping over there. Sogging up my bread. Well, you know, like I said, because that was day-old bread, day-old bread, and it was cheaper. Two or more 40 cents, and one, and two or more is like 60 cents, I believe. But I said, those are not stores, that's what's good. Oh, so I told you when my friend came and paid me, I didn't say like, nothing like, like, oh, you can pay me there. I just said, oh, he, thank you. I did need it. I need to get groceries. You know we don't get a full stamp till the twenty second. What are we today, Mama? Huh? What's the date today? Sixteenth. Uh, so the twenty second. Well, like I said before, we have never gone hungry. Thank Jesus Christ. And sometimes there's like we're down on groceries. Where it's like, yeah, there's food, but it's not what we want or what we're craving, you know. But I always manage to have in the cubbies. Me gusta comprar el case de las tomato sauces. And um, be able to make them a sopita. I don't know how. I told you. Julia's the one that's cooking right now. But sometimes if I can, I'm in the mood and I feel confident that I'm not going to burn myself or do something stupid. I'll cook. I'll try to cook some things, you know? But I'm, I don't feel that I'm ready to cook every day. It's really hard. When you only have one night that works, me estoy tirando un dedo y usar a no a este pinche ojo muerto. No, pero no te creas, I love my eye. And I believe in miracles and I believe that 
if I pray hard enough, he'll return my vision. Eh, they said it might come back, but a little blurry. But because I don't, I, like, let me see. Like, I can see all black and just little baby lights where there's loose, like the door coming in and the TV. That's it. But if I go this way, look this way, I can see a little bit on the corner right here. A little bit. But if my vision were to come back just even half of what it was, then I could drive again. And the other day, me, me and Jesse went to the park. And I drove us. I drove me and Jesse. The girls weren't up to going because they're trying to, like, lose weight also. And they're, they've been exercising. And Julia is sore from her legs. I have that little bike thing where it's like pedals and you just sit down on a chair and put it in front of you and pedal. So she's like, ay, ando bien sore de mis thighs. Ay, ando bien sore. En la Julieta. La también la Samantha se pone a hacer zumba en su cuarto. Pero she has a hard time because you know how the puppy's always with her. She loves her. And he follows her. He follows her everywhere. When she's trying to do her Zumba in there, <laughs> he gets in between her legs. And Julia, too. And says she's pedaling, and sometimes so he don't know any better. And comes in like, I don't know, <laughs> un pinche pedalazo. Mm, pobre papi. Mm. Let me see if I can get this. Look, I'm not lying. Can you see him? He's just asleep all aguitado. He has his toys there. That he was dragging around, but he... Mira, mi sofa con una pinche sandiota. It's because Julia bought a sandia the other day. Mmm, it was so good. And then I bought one that other day. Yesterday we went to wash. Yesterday, the day before. Anyways. Oh, poor, 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 he's me. He looks tired, of course. And then Sam and me are down here. So when we came back from, oh my God. And since I woke them up and we went to look for the schools, and then we had to go to CVS to get my insulin and my medicine. They were not morning, morning children today. As it is, Sam's not a morning person. They were both so pissed off. Enojadas. Y lo, yo le digo a la, a la Samantha, heat up the car. Lo estaba calentando y estábamos ya todos adentro. Y luego le dice la ayuda, why don't you go yet? Mom, mom told me to heat it up. Así van todo el pinche camino alegando las bebedas. Ay, ay, ay. Jesse, too, he's not a morning person, but he was really, he was not being mean because he was real happy because we were going to go get him a little breakfast. But I only went today because, um, before, I'm sorry, I'm panicito stuck. If you went on Fridays, they would give you for the whole weekend, you know? And when you can go, Let's say Monday. They give you for breakfast and lunch, you know? Like a little box of cereal, two milks, fruit, like apples or Montana. Well, y'all should know. Whatever they give your kids at lunch or your nietos or your grandkids. Well, my, my, my friend that me hacía un paro el viejito, he would give me and the girls free because they were over, uh, over uh, high school already. And so on the weekend, they would give you for Saturday and Sunday too. So they would give us a big ass box. So, and then it was forever. So it was, you know, times four. So we never had to buy milk again for the whole summer, you know. Then let me tell you what I do downtown.
we will hide in the cajuela and go to another school or another place. But you know why? Like Rachel will come in. Esta es Robin Hood. Yo quita los a los ricos y le da a los pobres. No, I'm not gonna say pobres, but um, I will give it to my friends that that didn't go there. My neighbors that you know there was one little baby that they could give him lunch, but you know they weren't gonna go and give him lunch. Get him the lunch, and then the rest of the kids were already older, and they didn't want to go, and they were always sleeping in the summer. I didn't mind. I would give my friend. I'm not gonna say her name. For her kids, because I had a lot. I would sit on the table. That's when I had my, what was it, uh, seated six or eight. But I had a big ass table over there in the, the other house. And I would get bags. Esas bolsas de la Walmart, hombre. De plástico. Ah, siempre tengo aquí. Yo creo las, pero las bolsas, you know what I'm talking about. Walmart bags. And I would put, like, um, Even 10 little cartons of milk. You know, whatever that I could. And I would tell my friend. Here, because her mom was going to come from Mexico. And then I would tell her, Toma, mami. Dáselo a tu mami para que lo mande allá para jugar con su papá. So I did. I get it. Did I get all that stuff to be cabrona or no? No. It's always been my spirit to help. And I like it, I like it. And nobody comes to my house without eating. Nobody leaves my house hungry. And if they don't want it, they insist on not eating, you better believe I'm gonna get them a plate or something. Even I, I don't like Sam's boyfriend and the other day I was telling her, llevale un plato a este vato. Le llevaste. Ni le llevo al último. No. Mm, mm, Julia? I know for like three weekends, maybe. She'll be with She'll be telling me like I'm fine. Mom, can I go spend the night with my friend? Yes, of course. And her friend will come and get her, or Sam will take her. And then, like two, three weeks ago, I don't remember what she made, but it was bomb, right? And then she was like, Mom, can I take the girls to play? Of course. Hmm. It was the day that I took out this uh, canelo, vara bien picosa, chuletas. I took out like three or four things so she could make like a few guisados or whatever for, for the weekend. Pa que no cocinara, no? Entonces era bastante comida. Y les llevo. Y luego había una hoy, también había hecho ella... ¿Ves cómo me duele acá la muela donde me quitaron el pinche diente? And, and my drink is not that, that cold. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. It's not infected. There it is. But I told them to give me some, just in case I got infected. Because... Being that they pulled out a tooth and you have the big old hole right there, right? It's closed, I'm sure. I don't know. This is like, I think it's a moxicillin. It's beautiful. Look, pink and black. And, and, um, le dije, you know what? Can you give me some after all? Le dije, because. I, I, I might, I might get infected because, pues, obvio, ¿verdad? Tengo diabetes and I'm eating, my mouth has to eat. I do eat on this side. But still, I guess when I drink, oh, I don't know what it is. I'm not supposed to drink with popote and I don't listen. Let's pick it up. Mm-hmm. But it's in a kawama, huh? That beer. 
I told you guys for months I've been craving a freaking like a top oil, but like un clamato, and I still haven't bought it. This is heavy. Look right here. I don't know if you can see. I cracked it by accident right there. Because we stopped making ice and we started buying the big bag of Sonic ice. Because it's crushed ice. It's really good. How much is it, Mom? Like $3 or $4? The ice. See that? The bag of ice at Sonic. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Yeah, three something. Esta no me contesta. Either she is too into the movie because she's watching Friday. She put Friday right now. Now, now it's the next Friday. Or she just being payasa. She don't want to answer me. But this girl, I'm not lying. My Samantha? She can tell you the the movie word for word. That part of her brain is so awake. Very good memory. Oh, okay. Now I can see more. Let's up. ¿Qué estás comiendo, güey? Oh, los little popsicles. Mm. Remember the next Friday? And then he's going to go go stay with his uncle in, in Rancho Cucamonga. Y te la novia está muy sexy. Y luego cuando lo abraza, que lo conoce, le dice, Ooh, you got You got fat. <laughs> Ooh, got fat ass. <laughs> fat ass burger. We should do that to just see that. Ooh, you got fat ass burger. I always have told my baby since they were little that their buns look oh, like yeah, hamburger buns. What about hamburger? I know. You got to come to the house with your mom and your brother. No, there's... um. There's a lot of people that party with their parents. Ow, oh, okay, get off of me. Hmm. I used to. I'm 16, okay? 15 or 16. I used to smoke cigarettes with my mom. Take what? Take what? And... My dad only would smoke a cigarette if he was really drunk. And one time we went to this bar in Tucson, Arizona. We got all fucked up. And we were sitting at the bar like this, hugging like this, and smoking and drinking our same beer. And nah, I don't get funny. I tell you, because I came from a family that would drink still wouldn't drink pero bien bailadores I I love dancing I'm not gonna lie um I haven't stepped foot in the bar for three years or anywhere else like a party or whatever but I do miss dancing I'm not gonna lie I'd be lying if I said no no God has changed me in a lot of the things that I've begged him to, to help me change in, right? But, you know, I'm not, if I missed it that much, I would have been partying, you know? There's plenty of salones here where I live. Hmm. It doesn't mean that I don't like to dance. I'll dance here in my house sometimes. Once in the blue moon, when I put videos, I have my speaker thing over here, over there. We turn off the lights and the has like a disco effect, you know, on the um, microphone, so we would sing karaoke. 
Just me and the girls, you know. We haven't done that for a while. I lost my voice, guys. Three. I lost my voice, guys, but I... Delante mi padre, I used to sing really, really badass since I was little. My dad made me sing. The way in the movie, how... In the movie of Selena, how... um The dad would, like, practically force them, and she didn't want to. She was tired, and... They were like, we want to go play in the I see that my papa come in. When you're little, you don't know that you're a good singer. You can just sing because you like to sing, right? But looking back, you know, and stuff, he must have heard that I that I had a badass voice. It was my always my thing. My dad would put the radio wherever we went. And I would be in the backseat with my brothers and sisters. And singer. Don't think that nobody would tell me, ya callate, or, or cantas feo, or something. Nobody. They would just all listen to me. And I loved it, you know, so I would sing. I swore up. Sometimes my, my family, if we were parties, they would give me like $20 or whatever. They would tell me to sing. I was so good. Because I loved it. I wasn't embarrassed or nothing. And growing up more. Because I was so silly. I've always been so silly. I would do funny things to make them laugh. I would get the broom and be dancing with the broom and be singing and shit. But. Guys, I swear to God. I could hit their notes perfectly. Right, let me tell you. And you know Spanish songs? Maricela. Oh, the, the one that I sang the best was Isabel Pantoja. The one that goes, Así fue. And I can't sing no more. I blame it on all the smoking cigarettes that I did. Or, or that later when I was getting older, my teeth started like separating from the diabetes. I don't know what it was, but I lost my voice. I can't no more. I kind of, and I hate it because I, that was one thing that I loved, was to sing. And I almost got discovered when I was living in Los Angeles. My cousin, he kept telling me, Te voy a al parque, quien sabe que? I don't know what it was called, it was in East Delhi. And apparently it was a, a, a park where, they had like a gazebo or whatever, a, a platform. And bands would go, like on the weekends, I guess, and sing. And um, <clears throat> believe it or not, there was always, like, they told me, my cousins, that there was always talent scouts there. And that's how they found, like, all these people that you see on these shows and stuff, <clears throat> of um, La Voz Kids and all that stuff. All those singing shows. Somebody discovered them, and a lot of them were at parks like that where they can go and sing. They're free to sing, and there's dudes there that are talent scouts or women, and if they're good, you know, that's when you start going up. Iki, you wanna go sing for me in a studio? I would love to first so and so to hear you. He's my manager. Blah, blah, blah. Three times he told me, and I was ready. And for some reason, we never went. For some reason or the other. And I never got to go. And I, I I, came back, when I came back from L.A., I felt so sad because I didn't get to go. And I was like, I wasn't thinking like, e, I was going to make it. I was just like, I'm going to go up there and sing. Me la van a pelar porque canto chingón. Y ya no, ya no pude. Me vine para atrás, para el paso. Y ya no le seguía eso. But I kept singing though. But not, not where somebody was going to discover me or something, you know? Guys, I've been sweating. Okay, I'm going to have to let you go, because... La raíz toda negra. Ay, que fea mujer tan pelona. All right, see you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.